Jean Samet's wonderful career lasted four decades. Not only was she part of computing from the very early years of its development, she actively influenced the computer revolution. After her position at Sperry, Jean worked at Sylvania Electric Products from 1958 through 1961. While there, she served as a key member of the original COBOL committee, helping to lay the groundwork for one of the oldest programming languages. She moved to IBM in 1961 and stayed with the company for 27 years. While there, Jean Samet initiated the concept and directed the development of Formac, the first widely used general language and system for manipulating non-numeric algebraic expressions. In 1969, her book, Programming Languages, History and Fundamentals, was widely regarded as the standard work on programming languages and an instant computer classic. But Jean's service to the industry goes well beyond her contribution of those landmark computer languages. Throughout her many years of affiliation with the computer sciences industry, she has given freely of her time and abilities to contribute to countless boards and committees. She supported efforts to document the development of computing, including helping to launch the IEEE Annals of the History of Computing. For her lifetime achievements in computing, we are honored to present the Computer Pioneer Award to Jean E. Samet. How do you summarize the life's work of Jean Samet in just a few short sentences? She is, in the truest sense of the word, a pioneer of the computer industry. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jean Samet. As a person who has spent a great deal of time dealing with history, I am certainly pleased and honored to be given this award by the IEEE Computer Society. And because of the history that I have been involved in in one way or another, I thought I would just tell you a couple of things that might be of some amusement to you. I have often been asked how I got involved in the computer field. Well, in 1955, I was working at Sperry Gyroscope Company on Long Island, and I was doing mathematical work involving submarines and torpedoes. And my boss came over to me one day and said, do you know that we have a couple of engineers who are building a digital computer? And my answer was yes. I didn't quite know what it meant, but yes. And he said, would you like to be our programmer? And I said, What's a programmer? <laughs> and his answer, and I kid you not, his answer was, I don't know, but I know we need one. <laughs> and at that time, there really wasn't uh, anybody that I knew of to consult. There weren't books, there weren't papers. Uh, there was ACM, but I didn't know anything about it. And somehow, I managed to take a gamble and I said yes to him, and that was the start of what is obviously a very long and has been a very rewarding career. And I want to tell you a story about uh, somebody who came in to work for me in that time period. And unfortunately, uh, Jack Davidson has stolen my line, but I'm going to give it anyhow. Uh, this gentleman was uh, brought in to work on this computer, and this computer was being built at Sperry it was about uh, like a 650, it had a drum, wasn't very, uh, wasn't very fast. And after some training, I gave this man named John, I gave him instructions and I sent him up to work out his problem. And those were the days when computer time was measured in hours, not, uh, you know, microseconds or even more. The, um, I told him if he had any trouble, he should call me. So he, uh, went up there and after about 30 or 40 minutes, I had not heard anything from him and I began to get a little worried. I thought maybe something had happened. So I went up to the uh, computer room and I saw him sitting there poring over a printout with a great big grin on his face. And I said, John, 
did your program work? And he said, no. And I said, well, why are you sitting there looking so happy? And he said, do you mean they're really paying me to have all this fun? <laughs> and that to me has always been the very best description of programming that I have encountered. So again, I thank the IEEE Computer Society for this award.